to the boat! Well, I had never worked with Alejandro, but I know he was gonna want to explore this in a different way than it had been ever shot or dealt with before. I think Jackie is amazing. She nailed every detail. Every bit of the wardrobe was done from etchings and stories and folklore about who these men were and how they survived. The trappers dressed out of what they could acquire. The shirt was long, it was tucked under the crotch, and then the pants were made out of a Western pattern with a fall front, almost like an American sailor pant. The very poetic thing that was always Alejandro's idea was that Leo would wear the bearskin that's left behind in the trapper camp when they abandoned him. This bear fur ironically becomes his main source of warmth, but also becomes a symbol of this death that happens then actually gives him life. He tried to make distinct tribes by changing the designs of the war shirts or the painting motifs on the war blankets. The Pawnee tribes in this film have more cotton and prints and wools because they were closer to the trading posts. And as you get to the Plains Indians, they're much more in leather. Jackie's like a poet of wardrobe, where she can create all these characters using textures and color. We've probably dressed 500 background people and all of our actors. Every time that I see the film and I see the details in the wardrobe, I'm stunned. Everything was just right in the spot. Yeah. <laughs>